Hello YouTube. Today we have a tablet, a Verizon TCL Tab 8. This is it right here. Um, take that sticker off, we don't need that sticker. Tab 8 here, uh, it's a TCL Tab 8 from Verizon as you can see there, and it has a damaged charging port. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a type C and it's damaged. And we looked online, uh, see about uh, how you open it and there's no video so we are going to make a video for you right now let's get started all right so this one has a case in the back we need to get this case loose first it's actually held by clips but we need something sharp to get it started so i generally use a blade something like this to get things going and right between the plastic lip and this back plastic is where you want to get into so you push in you get it started as soon as you get started, you switch over to something plastic so you don't have to worry about damaging anything where you're gonna use this uh, guitar pick. And then just kind of slide it down, get this metal out of the way, slide it down and around, and it will loosen this case. You wanna be careful around buttons. This particular one looks like it does have a SIM card, so we wanna get that SIM card out first. Grab that tool. Pull the SIM card out here. Set that aside. It has a has some memory stick and as well as the SIM card. So we'll just sit that just sit that aside for now. We'll continue on our way going around this to loosen the case to release it from the back. Right here we have buttons, so we want to be extra careful around those buttons. Don't dig in deep with your with your uh, guitar pick and there you have it now if you see here there's a cable on that one button you can see it I think right there there you are so never go doing a quick release always be cautious especially if you haven't done it before see what's underneath there now I have it released it's just a flex cable with a jawbone connector so got that released and that's what it looks like inside this particular instance, we need to get to the um, charging port. I don't know from looking at it, I wasn't sure exactly which one it was. So we told the customer we were gonna open up and make sure we could find the replacement charging port uh, board. Let me go grab my screwdriver. All right, so there's a black, there's a black plastic uh, cover right here. So I'm gonna take that off first. Then we should expose the charging port board and we'll be able to know what we're dealing with. So it looks like these screws are not the same, if you can see. There's, um, let's see if I can get a better, for you, better view for you guys. Some are bigger, some are smaller. So it looks like thus far, the smaller fatter head ones were up the top and these smaller ones or longer ones are above the bottom. Get these out and see if that holds true on all of these screws. It's another long one, small head, but longer shaft of the screw. It's another one and our final one. At this point, we should be able to pop this off. Looks like there's a cable running through it. If you look there, there's a cable that goes in there. So we wanna be careful not to damage a cable. So we're gonna pull that cable out of it, gently. So we don't rip any cable where we're pulling this off. So it goes up and around. And now we should be able to pull this, this plastic board, plastic cover off. It looks like this cover also has the loudspeaker connected to it. Get this cable totally out of our way so we don't have to worry about that. There we go. There's our little board. You can see the pushes up against these pins here for the speaker. Right there. 
That has a little loudspeaker in there. You can see the, the air comes out. That's that piece. And now if you look here, we're almost there. That's the board we want to replace. It's a little board. Generally, sometimes you can uh, find just the charging port for it, but in our case, we're just going to find the whole board because it's such a small connector and it's not such a popular device that it's probably more trouble than it's worth to try to find that. And it is to replace the whole board and do the soldering. So this is, you can see this has little connections here that are soldered on. It's not a push connector, actually soldered. So we got to loosen this in order to take this out. This is going to have adhesive underneath it, I'm sure of it. So we're just going to release it like that. See that? It's released. And now we're clear to release this whole board. And that's just adhesive as well. Now you see that. So that's it. Um, what I have to do now is find this part, order it up. We will almost certainly have to solder this in, but it's not too bad. If you have even mediocre soldering skills, it shouldn't be a problem. It's just two little joints, a little bit of flux, a little tiny connect, a little tiny uh, uh, tip for your soldering iron. That should work just fine. But uh, as you can see, uh, let's see, I think you can see that there. It's totally damaged. It's not even, not even close. This rubber little gasket that goes over it. This helps keeps water, keeps water out. You can see, just pull that off, and we'll save save that uh, for the new board. And yeah. If you were doing something else to this, like say maybe your screen, that's gonna be up here. You'd still wanna open the back first. You'd wanna disconnect this, then heat this up, pull it off, put the new one in and reconnect it. That's how you would do that. You got cameras potentially if you had to replace, if you have a bad camera, there's your battery. Probably should have taken that off, but it was already been dead, but disconnect the batteries. Always a smart move, uh, which I didn't do. Um, but other than that, looks like it's not uh, such a bad fix. All right, guys, there you have it. This is how you fix a charging port issue on a Verizon TCL Tab 8. I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, please subscribe if you like the content and give us a like. That helps us out a lot. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.